Hello all, and welcome back to another run of Evil Hack. Um, I'm Terrapin, and currently we are playing a Hobbit Rogue in Fort Ludios. So um, I happen to have Conflict on me, which is fun. I haven't actually used Conflict pretty much at all um, in Evil Hack, so this is kind of a fun learning experience for me. Um, you can see we have a good number of enemies that are like pretty good at killing enemies in like unexpected ways. So um, oops. Um, we've got like, oh, Numlock was on, that explains it. Um, we've got a cockatrice which can stun things, we've got a trapper which can eat things, we've got a locust which can sicken things. So I'm feeling, oh, there goes the locust I guess. <laughs> um, but I'm feeling pretty good about uh, using conflict here because um, it's pretty easy for these monsters to kill each other. Um, so there's our rock mold hanging out. I'm hoping that it gets killed so that it doesn't eat all my gold. Failing that, I'm hoping it's distracted trying to fight every everything else so that it doesn't wander around eating stuff instead. Um, yeah, so... You'll notice, um, wow, it's been a while. Um, I totally forgot what I was wearing. Let's actually check through that real quick. Um, I've got some daggers, several of them poisoned, which is cool. Um, Luling Vorpal Blade. Uh, got Dragon Bane and some other armor. Stone Helm speed's pretty good. Jumping is nice. Um, all right, cool. Um, and in my bag, what do I have in there? Water walking boots might be useful for the moat. Um, regeneration's handy if I get in some trouble. Got some healing potions. All right. Um, okay. So this cockatrice gotten pretty far down in health. Able to one shot it. Didn't leave a corpse. I'm cool with that. Um, I think I've mentioned before that rubber chickening is not a great strategy um, in Evil Hack, so I'm just happy that it's not around for other monsters to pick up. I'm actually going to take off Conflict because I'm next to a Hobbit Rogue now and it can steal stuff from me. So it's peaceful, but if it was conflicted it might try to attack me anyway and I don't want it to run off with the Vorpal Blade or something. Um, oh, and now the Rock Mole's at it again, damn it. I don't know if it can see me, actually. I don't think so. Hopefully, it'll get stabbed. Looks like the gray elf's attacking it, but not very effectively. Um, oh, it's, oh no, it's attacking the rock piercer, not the rock mole. Hmm. Um, okay. Oh, wizard got swallowed, no corpse from that. Bit of a shame. Looks like we find another lizard though, so that's something. Um, okay, we're moving conflict again. I'm gonna put it in my bag. While it's, I'm actually wearing it, it's safe from lightning. But as soon as I take it off, it could in theory get destroyed. Um, so I don't want it out in open inventory in that case. Where's this elf at? Hmm. Elf was surprisingly healthy after all that fighting. Um, you can see the soldiers have broken down the door. Hmm. I think I'm gonna... Hmm. I don't know if I can take him out fast enough. I'm doing okay. Glad I have free action. Um, like I want to take out the rock mole so it doesn't eat more gold, but I also feel like I would lose ground against this incoming tide of soldiers. I think if I go here, the um, the lieutenant will. Oh, it has a bearded axe. Frick, did not see that. Um, really glad it didn't take anything from me. Um, and stuff's still coming after me somehow. Eh. I'm gonna retreat. 
I'm losing some gold and whatever loot these soldiers had with them. Um, looks like the dwarves are fighting. That's odd. I'm not sure why. Very strange. Because I'm not currently conflicting, although I'm going to get back to that actually. Um, I don't know. Yeah, you can see monsters can steal from each other. I think that's also true in vanilla. Um, I'm going to try to get some axes from this dude. Um, that wasn't fun. I could dagger him as well, but I don't want to use too many daggers because then I have to pick them up later and it's a whole thing. Okay, forget it. I'm, I'm totally daggering them now. Ouch, ouch. Ooh, big ouch. That's more like it. All right. Um, and then real quick, I want to nab this. It's a third dwarf, uh, mithril bearded axe. Third one I found this game. That's an unusual amount of bearded axes. At least I haven't noticed that many before. Um, I'm gonna toss it downstairs. I don't know how exa exactly it works, but it seems like monsters wander through oops, mon monsters wander through portals and pick stuff up a lot. I do not want to deal with that. Bearded axe. Do not forget. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay, um, I have all my daggers back, wait, and I want to put this stuff safely away. Um, okay, we're back at it. Um, giants can knock down doors, which means that whenever you're in like castle or soldiery areas, it can be really difficult to control where the soldiers go because since they can be different races, um, you end up with some giant soldiers and then they just blow down the doors and they all come streaming in and it's a real pain. Um, I'm torn between letting this witherling live because it will totally take out other stuff. Um, on the other hand, so witherlings can sicken you. Um, and also eat your brains, or they wither you and eat your brains, which can sicken you or give you amnesia. Um, and when they kill stuff, I think it often revives as, like zombies and stuff. So honestly, I don't know if that's less of a threat in some ways. I think I'm going to let them fight a little bit. Um, I'm gonna get these rocks out of the door so that I can. Oh, and it's dead now. Okay. I guess I'll just get back to it then. Um, I'm thinking I'd like to knock this door down too so I can move diagonally. I, I would like that freedom of movement. Okay, so I'd like a, that scroll too, whatever it is. It's earth. Hmm. Earth is really valuable. With all the scary demon lords, boulder forts are much more useful. I mean, they're the same amount of use, but there, it's more important that you get that use, if that makes sense. Um, so I think I'm going to take it, even though it makes, puts me next to a lot of enemies. Mm. Okay, we're good. Got a little conflict. Oof, that's not fun. Oops. Um, don't need rocks. 
Wow, I do not have much carry cap. I have 60 rocks, or 60 weight from what rocks is enough to get, put me close to burdened. Does not bode well. Um, okay, I'm going to try to get this dude out of the doorway so he doesn't block it up again. No, it's blocked up by the sphere still, though. Damn. Um, whatever. Oh, silver crossbow bolts. That's nice. Um, I can use those to make other silvery things. So I'm going to try to stay out of the sight line of whatever was firing that stuff so it doesn't waste the bolts. Although I'm displaced, so that's not necessarily going to be really effective. Oh, and now it's diagonal to me anyway. Um, at some point I'm probably going to want to take a good amount of these weapons, like the knife, the short, not the short sword, but the knife. All the knives and daggers that I find, if they're magical, they could come in real handy. And there's a solid chance that at least some of them are magical. Um, yeah. I should be eating corpses while I have the chance, but there's just so many enemies. Um, I haven't really had a good time to do it. But so far, I haven't really felt too much in danger either, so that's good. Um, I think this sergeant is the one with the silver bolts, so I'm going to try to get him just one square further. Hmm, someone did a gain level. Oh, what took up? I picked up a potion of extra healing. Uh oh. Let's see if I can kill him before he uses the potion. Oh, bolt of fire, that's promising. Mm. I think it's the centaurians too busy fighting other things to go off the potion. That's good for me. Oh, come on. Damn it. Eight sip points and I couldn't take him out before he drank the potion. That's annoying. Um... Maybe I should have thrown some daggers at him for the insta-kill. That might have been a good idea. I don't know. He has pretty good AC. It's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm just going to see what loot he might have gathered. I'm quite happy with the wand attacks for now because I have reflection and I'm resistant and all that, so it just ends up clearing the way, clearing out other enemies. Um, I'm going to pick up the vaults. It's unlikely that they'll end up being used by someone else, but even so, um, it's possible some other crossbow wielder would pick them up and use them. I don't want them to. They're my silver. Um, Stealing the silverware is definitely a valid strategy when you can forge it into the cool stuff. Silver knives are pretty valuable. Um, let's see what else. Oh, we've got another potion of extra healing. Boy, am I glad I checked out what was there. Got a lot of message spam. Um, I've been trying out the curses interface lately. Um, and that's, I'm, I'm sure, sure you've seen it if you ever watched other people play in Um It's like got the fancy windows with the purple edges and the permanent inventory showing on the side. And you can see like, you know, a dozen lines of, in of messages at once. Very useful. Um, there are like a couple cases where the keystrokes are a little different and it keeps throwing me off. So I've often gone back to just normal old um, TTY, or whatever this is called. I think it's TTY. Um, just because I'm used to it. But there's definitely something to be said for not having to space through messages while you're conflicting. Um, 
I'm trying to wait for these soldiers to get closer to me so that I don't have to keep going into the doorway to pick up whatever they drop. But they really don't seem to be cooperating. I'm going to take it off and see if that unites them in purpose. Well, they just started riding each other. That's not helpful. I wonder what happens if I conflict them while they're riding. Do they get thrown off? Hmm. It appears they stay ridden, even while get, getting conflicted. That's slightly weird, but the monster riding code is really, I mean, it's a really difficult thing to implement. So there's a lot of kind of weirdness with that. And I'm willing to forgive it, because it's, it's a cool idea. Um, super annoying in a lot of cases, but very cool. <laughs> Um, problem is that these monsters are picking up all the armor from the things they're killing via conflict, I think. And just getting really good AC. Not a fan of that. Um, okay, I think I might undo up in for a little while. Because I have significantly higher to hit. To hit. Never know how to emphasize those syllables. I'm just going to take like a couple things which I know grant a good amount of AC and maybe just move them a little back. Can't do anything about the plate armor, but at least it takes a while for that sort of stuff to get put on. Mm. And the rock mole's still going at it. I wonder if the soldiers have picked up any gold that would be useful. Um, I honestly, I don't know where all these soldiers are coming from. Like, have they got? I don't feel like there's normally this many just waiting outside for you, but I could be wrong. Oh, this, this dude has no AC. I'm totally too opening. Um, nice thing about having 20 decks is that I can two up in and unto up in at will. It never costs an action. Um, pretty good AC there. No AC there. Love it. Um, but yeah, I wonder if they like somehow broke out of the castle area. Because this is just an insane number of soldiers. Hmm. I'm just super worried that if I start like escaping through messages or going moving quickly that some dude's gonna come along with a a bearded axe and disarm me and kill me with, and behead me. So it, it's frustrating that I have to move slowly or that I feel like I have to move slowly anyway. But I just, I really don't wanna mess up. I've been playing a lot of wizard mode games recently because um, I haven't had much time to actually play slash I haven't really felt up to it. Like, I haven't felt like I had the energy to really invest myself in that. So I've just been messing around with uh, wiz mode. Like, yeah, just messing around. Um, so I've developed a bit of a blasé uh, attitude towards dying and I'm really trying to make sure that I remain careful as I play a game where there are no redos. Um, oh, damn. Threw a potion of oil at me and it nabbed me. So reflection prevents me from inventory, or protects me from inventory damage from bolts and stuff, but um, doesn't do anything against fireballs and um, other non-ray damage. Wearing light armor, so all right. Gnomes just have terrible AC apparently, and centaurs apparently have very good AC, which honestly confuses me a little because they can't wear boots. So like, where are they getting all this AC from? But whatever. Um, it's probably just 
total luck in too small of a data set. Uh, how did I miss the thing wildly? Oh, if you try to decapitate a headless monster, you just whiff. That's the me I, that's the message. I don't use Vorpal Blade. Actually, I've, I've used it a fair bit in Ewak, but I haven't really seen that message before somehow. Um, this is actually going pretty well, honestly. I'm kind of surprised that there aren't more monsters coming in. It might be they don't really notice that I'm here yet. Um, I'm starting to see why maybe rubber chickening things would be helpful, because then I wouldn't have to worry about um, worry about picking up this loot. It would just remain safely ensconced in statues until I'm ready to break those open. But oh well. Uh. Okay, Lieutenant's almost down. Yes. So the Centaurian. Um, someone just picked up a wand of fire. God knows where. I don't care enough about a wand of fire to figure out which one has it. Um, one nice thing is, all right, the heading. Giant soldiers often get boulders, um, just like any other giant would, and they can be helpful for blocking off areas, um, kind of like a temporary door. I'm at level 13, which is great. I don't have my potion of gain level on me, but I'll deal. Um, On the other, I mean, giants will, another giant soldier will eventually come along and pick up a boulder, but for a little while you can kind of use it to funnel off the other soldiers, which is nice. <sighs> Got a potion. Oh, and the rock mole's finally there. I can take revenge for all that poor lost gold. You greedy little vermin. Um, who picked up the scroll? The orcish soldier. So that would be this dude. Yeah. I want whatever scroll that is. Um, I'm just gonna... Where did giant eel come from? Oh, I think it's just a weird message from... Conflict and stuff. That's arguably a bug. Oh, it wasn't this soldier that picked up the scroll. Don't know where it is then. Oh, it's that Orcus soldier. I'll have to jump on over there. I don't want to end up with stuff coming at me too hard either. I suppose I could literally jump on over there. Um, I'm hoping that one of these giant soldiers has a boulder that'll help me further block off the area. Eh, more giants coming in. Okay, so now this dude's picked up a milky potion. Let's hope I can take it out first. I'm gonna retreat. I don't want to be facing all three of these soldiers at once. Maybe I'll have a snack. Um, okay. I think now's a good time to swoop in and pick up some loot. And there wasn't any there. Fun. None there either. This might have been the potion holding one. It could have been speed. Oh, no, it was full healing. Frick. Um, fighting soldiers and other such enemies is always so demoralizing because you just see the loot slipping through your fingers. Mm. 
Okay. I'm going to run back a couple steps. I feel like I should be making better use of my daggers, but um, I don't want to have to worry about picking them up. Oh, come on. Go away. I didn't know they could come back so much later. I'm totally crisis though. That's why I'm hanging out outside the vault, or outside the fort, just on my way out from um, from the house. Oh, I think I left the oven, oven oven on. I should probably go back. Gotta love not being lawful. Oh, and we have another witherling. I don't know where these things come from. I guess it was a random spawn, probably. Uh, Hopefully it... nope. They're just too weak. Ugh. So that's the scroll the Orca Shoulder picked up. Now we know. That's very annoying. Um, at least there's a Mithril Elven Longsword that I got out of it. Or it might have already been there from a soldier. Nope, it was an Elven Lord. Okay. I'm very glad to have conflict. <laughs> Um, although honestly, conflict is probably a big reason why loot's dropping in other areas for monsters to pick it up. So arguably unhelpful. Hi, you see, I'm going to try hitting this dude first. Okay, nice. Oh, and now the nymph is here. I don't, I don't want any of that. Um, and now it's dead. The wonders of conflict. Aaron gone. I'm going to take out this Xan before it can sting me too bad. Um, and just doing my habitual check if there's any bearded axes in the vicinity. Okie doke. Yes, another beheading. Love when that happens. Um, Winter Wolf. Yeah, I'll leave you around. Um, might try to blast me with frost. And that would be quite helpful, honestly. Um, and I'm not seeing much loot around. Dragon hide gloves, I don't want them picking those up for sure. Um, be burden. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I just dump that all in the bag. And this is quite so slow paced, I'm sorry, but in general, the, uh, the large scale batter battles are a lot less exciting than they sound in that hack. Because you gotta. It's like when you're playing a game and there's like 50 people, you know, the pace just slows way down. Um. I guess maybe I could have tooled horned all these monsters that got summoned with the scroll. Uh, the uh, uh oh, bearded axe alert. I'm wondering if maybe I should add a message alert for them in bullwhips. That might be overkill. I don't know. But I'll be watching out for that green hat for sure. Um. Oh, and we've got another cockatrice in our hands. Oh, and a sergeant picked it up. Let's go. Let's hope it's uh, stones and stones and folks. Yes, they wielded a cockatrice corpse. Um, very fun. Just die. 
There we go. Um, so far, I haven't seen any stoning so far. There, somebody swung a corpse at the soldier. I don't know if he hit. Kind of surprised it doesn't say, but anyway. Um, he was hoping that works out for him. I'm continually surprised by all these... Uh-oh. This is the famed beholder. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm blinding myself for sure. Um, and you can see it's gone now. Um, currently I don't have my warning ring on, so I can't see it, but it's there. Um, very slow, so I doubt it'll move. Um, and I'm just... uh-oh. That's not great. Um, eh, there's a corpse on the ground, that's handy. Oh, come on. Lame. Okay, where's this dwarf in it? I think it's the sergeant. Ah, oh, this is a real pain. Um, I think I'm going to unconflict. So hopefully they'll come at me. I'm going to put on my warning ring so I know where that pesky beholder is. Um, I'm not sure if they're poison resistant. Yeah, they are. I was wondering if I could maybe just try to insta-kill it with poison daggers. Does not seem likely. Um, seeing if there's any good corpses deep, but they're all pretty old. Um, So this dude is the cockatrice corpse one. Ah, eh, fuck it. I'm gonna conflict again. They just aren't coming towards me. And maybe one of them will stun the beholder if I'm really lucky. Um, Dwarven and Lieutenant should be okay to melee. Alrighty. Um. I have to be really careful to remember which rings I'm wearing. Because for a second I looked at the board, um, at the tiles, and I was like, oh, the purple five is gone, that must mean the beholder died. But it's because I'm not wearing my warning ring right now. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit scary. It's always best to put yourself in a position where you have to keep track of as few things as you can at a time. Um, but sometimes you just have to make things more complicated. I still don't feel too much in like actual danger though, for the most part. Um, so that's good. Uh, I no longer have intrinsic speed, which is annoying from the stoning. But, uh, I'm not planning on taking off my helmet of speed anytime soon anyway, so not too big a loss. Um, okay, here's hoping that that spot where nobody will move. Actually, let's just see. I'm wondering if maybe the little holder's there. Oof. Some sort of arrows, probably. Oh, nope, the beholder's all the way over there. 
I'm gonna keep warning on so I know where it is at all times, but I think I'm gonna take off my towel for just a moment, just so I can see what the hell's going on. Um, oh, they're just armoring themselves instead of coming further in, so might as well take them out while I can. I picked up some extra healing. Giant captain, that's gonna be a real pain, unless I get a lucky behead in. I doubt I'll be able to get that. Um, I guess I could always steal from him, maybe. What's some stuff I can drop here? See if I can steal things. Just not getting much luck, am I? Yeah, that's not happening. I'm gonna go with some daggers. Maybe I'll get an insta kill. Nope, not that time. One thing that makes the the and stick kill dagger is a little annoying is um it can happen at any time so it's much harder to control like where the daggers go um like you never know when the next one will kill something and all the following daggers will fly past that square at least they're getting thrown back at me that's useful um but currently i can't move them <laughs> I can't get, get over there. Well, I might as well take this respite to do some inventory, or not some inventory management, but do some cleanup here. I'm just gonna pick up all the, all the armor. Um, and move it outside of Ludius. Oh, forgot there was an, oh, it's peaceful, cool. Weapons I don't care as much about. Um, none of them look super dangerous. And I'm more worried about killing the other monsters quickly. Not them killing me, which is pretty unlikely. Um, but if I don't kill them quickly, then they can use loot. And that's... or use potential loot, which will become lack of loot. And I do not like that. Looks like the monsters are kind of starting to wander around a bit, so I think I can push the boulder out of the way, hopefully. Maybe. Never mind. Ugh. What if I just wait a couple turns here? Nope. Okay. Fuck it, I'm pickaxing. Do I have any wands of striking? I think I might not have found any striking yet. Is it even I need? Walking. Yeah, no striking. Dang. That's unusual. Ugh, this is going to be so painful. Oh, okay. It's too common. That was easy. These gnomish soldiers just have terrible AC. Um, I know different uh, races get different inventory, so it might just be that the gnomes is uniquely terrible. Which I find a little surprising, because like when you're playing a gnome, it's not like they get really terrible armor. And for the most part, whatever 
monsters get more or less reflects what you get if you're like a similar race or role. Um, but I mean, I'm happy to have some easy to kill enemies. I'm loving the second half two weapon stuff. Okay, need to be careful here. Oh, okay, the beholder moved back. It was like on the edge of coming into my sight. Ooh, at some point I killed something with a bearded axe and I totally didn't notice. That's not ideal. Neither is all this armor. Just here for whoever wants it. But not much I can do about that. Okay, now that is awesome, these potions of healing. And I guess I can take the lizard corpse too. All mine. Um, I don't have another bag that's so heavy. It seems weird that I'm so burdened. It might just be all these food rations, maybe. I don't, certainly don't need them right now. Plenty of food to eat off the floor. I can just hear my mom telling me, you don't know where it's been. But let's be honest, life expectancy of an adventure is low enough that you're not really worried about. Um the healthiness of food. Besides, I have a unicorn horn, so I'll be fine. <sighs> uh, the beholder is getting close to visibility again. Need to keep an eye on that. Alista seems to be moving towards me. I think everything's picked up all the loot outside. And now it's all in the doorway, so they're happy to come attack me. I might I might leave off on the conflict. I think that was possibly more trouble than it was worth. Because it like spread the loot out all over the place, which made it diff difficult to control the flow of enemies. Um, beholders have speed like three, so I'm not worried about it getting two turns. I don't even know if that's possible. But I do definitely need to keep an eye out for if it moves into view. It looks like I'm going to have to go forward anyway to deal with this um, wand of cold dude. Oh, damn it! I forgot that dude existed. Oh, there's a lot of corpses here. Can I move back? Okay, I can. Maybe I should have done that to begin with. Of course, it took the whole lizard corpse because it didn't get interrupted that time, which is kind of annoying. I wish there was an option to just take a bite of food. Okay, and I'm going to just check to make sure my gloves are being worn. They are. Dragon Bane is on. Um, oh, it just has awful AC. Or really good AC, rather. This dude's also pretty good. I just want to take it out before it picks up that cockatrice corpse. Luckily, it does not seem interested in it at the moment. Um, and now I know I have gloves on and all that. But just to be super duper safe, I'm going to M move forward to, so I don't feel the ground. Better to be paranoid than a block of stone. So beholders have an 88 bite. Um, which sounds pretty bad, and I mean, I guess technically it is, but between the fact that they are speed three and they are skittish, it means that most of the time they don't even attack you anyway when they have a move. So in practice, it's, I can't remember the last time I've been bitten, honestly. 
I can certainly remember the last time I've been stoned slash disintegrated slash cancelled, so I'm keeping that blindfold on. Um, and I think that's all the soldiers. It looks like that was like all of them. I, yeah, honestly, I didn't remember there being that many soldiers around. I'm sure it's just me misremembering, but a little surprising. Um, Sure, let's pick up the cockatrice corpse. Um, I might use against crisis, crisis. Still don't know how to pronounce that. What do we have here? I'm just leaving the gold where it falls for now. I don't care. Um, add another level two spell up. That could come in handy, I suppose. Um, and now the question is, where do I want to go next? Okay, currently the only rings I'm wearing are on my fingers. Happy with that. Um, I'm not like generally happy with there being eels here. I think I'm just going to try to avoid them. Because I can't really throw daggers at them. I can maybe Beta Dragon into blasting them. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, there we go. Come at me. Oh, there is a... I think it might have taken out one of them. That's neat. Uh, don't think that'll work again, though. Um... Yeah, so I don't really have any good ranged options to take out eels without, you know, losing daggers. And I certainly don't want to come up close, because if they grab me, the only way I'm escaping is with, um, is with the teleport wand, which I have, or, yeah, that's it, because I don't think you can teleport here. And I have a teleport wand, but I don't want to waste its charges. Um, come on, blast these eels, pretty please. There we go, hitting the eel. That's what I love to see. Is this a gray dragon? That's no, a white dragon, thank goodness. Right. Um, if it freezes the water, that'll also mess up the eels pretty bad. Woo. It's all icy there. Very exciting. Um, of course, it means this other weird eel won't come into the line of fire. Oh well. damage. Dra blue dragons are a little faster, so I'm trying to keep out, out of the way of it. Um, speed 14 as opposed to speed 9, uh, which is actually a little faster than extrinsic speed, like in terms of the multiplier. Seems a little unfair to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so still, still slower than I am, but not by as much as normal. Um, I think the only lightning attack it has is the breath. That is true, yes. It's other attacks are all physical, so it's not horrible that I have these extra rings out in inventory. Um, I don't want to get digested again. It's always a real pain. Just ouch. Ouch every time. Double ouch. Okay, 
Time for some dagger time. All right. We'll love to see it. Um, this is a definite tinning moment. Is it? I mean, I haven't been eating. Uh, I mean, I don't want to choke. I don't. I won't choke. I'm not even satiated. But I also don't want to lose the corpse if I get interrupted. Interrupted. I'm gonna tin. Um, because I'm not shock resistant yet. So this is real helpful for me. Yeah, these other dragons are still around. They probably get at me. All right, totally shock resistant now. That's great. Alrighty, so <clears throat> I'm at 900 units. That's not so bad. Um, this dragon is probably still in a water square. Let me see if I can, whoa, <laughs> get it off of there. Um, this whole dagger thing is working pretty well. So I'm hoping to stick with that. Um, I don't want to kill the neutral gnome, though. Alrighty. Um, I'm really learning, running low on poison daggers. I'm down to like three or four, five, okay. Um, but man, is it doing work. Okay, silver dragon. I'm gonna, oh, let's see if I can get it to... No, okay. I'm going to see if I can get it scared. Um, so, once it gets closer to me, maybe... Here we go. I'm gonna see if I can get scared. Yep, and now I can backstab. Oh, or just decapitate him, that works too. Um, I turned on my light so I could jump if need be, but it looks like, yeah, that went super swimmingly. Um, here we've got ourselves a guardian naga. Um, these things have a bear hug attack. Um, which is annoying, and it can paralyze as well. Um, they show up a lot in the quest, and they're actually a big reason why I was think, make, thinking of making the switch over to this bronze elven chain now that I have, because the paralyze is um, affected by magic cancellation. But I have free action now, so I don't really care. Um, plus, I was actually, I was thinking about why stealing was failing so much, because normally it does not, or not normally, but like before I was, I was finding it significantly easier to steal things. So I was a little, I was, yeah, I was, I was kind of confused earlier when I kept on trying to steal from soldiers and failing. I'm going to realize this because of the armor I'm wearing. So if you're wearing, uh, arm, uh, metal armor, other than mithril, then, um, it makes stealing much more difficult. It's like 30 percentage points, I think. Um, more or less. So, yeah, that's not good. Um, I think I might maybe switch back to my leather armor now that uh, magic cancellation isn't looking as important. Um, still bad for draining, but... I can kind of live with that, honestly. Um, we've got ourselves a new wand. Let's see what it is. Speed monster at last. Uh, I'm trying to think if I should zap myself with it right now. I think I'm going to hold off. Um, so currently I don't have intrinsic speed from all this stoning from that stupid dwarf. Uh, I think I might take on the cockatrice nest, and then that might very well get me stoned a couple times, or, you know, 
partially stoned, hopefully not fully stoned. Uh, and I don't want to just get intrinsic speed now when it's not even that important. Only we'll lose it later. Um, so, Crisis, or however you say his name, um, tends to get a lot of um, nice armor, like plate mail, shield, all sorts of good stuff. So he can be really hard to hit. Um, in like two out of the last three times I've faced him, I've ended up just polymorphing into a black dragon and disintegrating him, because I, I literally could not hit him. Um, also, one time he was riding a dragon, which was not fun. <laughs> uh, speaking of... They have a passive fire attack, actually, so I don't want to be wearing flammable things when I'm hitting him. Which would be this and this. I guess one bonus of my chainmail is that it's not flammable. Um, And backstab is great. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Uh, so, yeah, he does a lot of damage. Um, and I'm thinking that maybe a good way for me to deal with that is to just like steal something from him. Um, but that would require me actually being able to do that. There are ways I can increase my chance. Like, uh, I don't think he sees invisible. Oh, he can't see invisible. Never mind. Um, if a monster can't see you, it improves your chances of stealing from them. Um, obviously, that won't work in this particular case. Um, I guess I could blind him. That should probably work. Uh, I don't have a camera on me, but I do have a lightning wand of lightning. It's actually worth a shot. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go back to my stash because I'm like getting all burdened and stuff. Um, and I will return um, with better armor and more inventory space. Um, okay. So at some point I'm going to want to take a whole lot of this stuff back to Mustache and test it for magic detection. Um, armor is less important because there's no particular magical armor I'd want to forge. That would be better than like other stuff I can find. So, I might not take any of that. Um, off the top of my head, there's no way to forge armor into weapons. There are a couple of recipes that take some weapons and allow you to forge it into armor. But that's rarely useful. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Crossbow bolts. Oh, is there any ammo I missed before? I'm kind of getting lax about that, which is silly of me. Um, yeah. Oh, I can use these to make a mithril elven long sword. Maybe. Or sorry, I can use the short sword. Anyway, um, it's possible these are like well enchanted too. Unlikely, but possible. Uh, okay. I'll leave the sea rations for now. Um, plenty of food rations to tide me over. Mm -hmm. These like groups of multiple knives are almost certainly not helpful because they're probably common. But you know, I don't know. It, I don't know if it's possible to spawn with a stack of knives. I can't think of a time I've seen that happen, but I wouldn't totally rule it out. Um, so that would be cool. Um, if they were, if I got like a stack of magical knives, 
Again, very unlikely as far as I know. Just tons and tons of armor here. Uh, oh, oilskin cloak, that's certainly useful. One fun oilskin cloak fact is that is not a magical cloak. The oil is purely non-magical. Um, and I mean, it makes sense on a certain level, although it is odd that it's like permanently oiled to my mind. Um, but it means that you can get one with an object property pretty easily. Specifically, you could like wish for an oil skin cloak of decay or something. Um, I think in general, it's probably not the best thing you can wear in a cloak slot, but I also think there are certainly some possibility, some cases where it could be good. Like if you already have MR and if you either already have displacement or you're the sort of character that is like super good in melee and actually want to close with enemies, um, or maybe if you, uh, yeah, um, or if you have a lot of displacer beasts on hand, or if you're mostly invisible, stuff like that. Um, maybe Cloak of Displacement isn't helpful. Cloak of Protection can be replaced with Gauntlets of Protection, or with, um, I mean, like, they make, they have good AC, but also if you just have good AC in general, and if you have some armor that grants to AC, to, to Magic Cancellation, and you have some way of augmenting that with, like, a Ring of Protection, and that's pretty much as good as a Cloak of Protection. Um, maybe you either don't spell cast or you don't need a robe to spell cast, spell cast well. And uh, what are the other options? Um, cloak invisibility. Maybe you're just invisible some other way. Um, so when all that's gone, oil skin cloak is looking pretty good. It actually grants MC to itself, so that's helpful. I'm going to take these leather armors in case they're any good. Probably won't be, but... Um, I was going somewhere with this. I can't for the life of me remember where. Right, so Oilskin Cloak is actually like a decent option then, and then you might as well get one of the property. Um, a surprising number of times I find myself with extra wishes in Evil Hack, which is kind of funny. Like... In general, there's fewer wishes. That's definitely true. There's no arguing about that. Um, but it's just there's so many monsters that spawn with powerful gear that if and when you kill them, you then take their gear for your own. <laughs> and suddenly you're more powerful. Um, so yeah, I mean, you look at some of the monsters. Right, bearded axe here. Thank you. Passed me. Um, you look at some of the monsters and you're like, holy crap, like the beholder is so scary. How does anybody face that? Or, you look at like Catherine the Enchantress and she's just another monster, or the Ice Queen rather. You know, she has, has all these spells and she's tough and has all this good gear. And then you look at yourself and you're like, oh, I have more gear than I would in vanilla as well. Um, there's a recent game where I had 75, I, I would, my AC was negative 75. Um, and it was just because all of my gear was dragon eyed. <laughs> so I don't think I even had much more protection than normal. I was at like nine or ten points of protection. But just everything I had was dragon eyed, so I had absolutely insanely low AC. Plus I could always cast protection if I wanted to, which I mostly didn't, because like what's the point at that point? Um and just nothing was hitting me. <laughs> um That in in general I like good players play faster than I do and get by with less than that, if that makes sense. Um, I still haven't annotated this next level as my stash. I should do that. And I know there's a level teleport. I don't need to do that. Anyway, um, but yeah, if you want to, if you want to play slowly and carefully, it's pretty easy to get the resources to uh, to make yourself much more powerful than a vanilla character could be. Um, I mean, Evil Hack is still harder than vanilla, because the monsters are also much more powerful, but it's it's less harder than you'd think, just to look at like the new content that's added sometimes. <laughs> 